Good evening, welcome to Left, Right and Centre. I am Vishnu Shom on the programme tonight, a week after the World Health Organisation reported that as many as 66 children in Gambia and West Africa may have died after consuming Indian-made cough dra uh, syrups. Major irregularities in manufacture have been found at the facilities of Maiden Pharmaceuticals, the Haryana-based manufacturer of the syrups. A show cause notice has been issued to the company. This says that the firm could not produce a logbook of equipment and instruments used to manufacture and test the drugs in question. Batch numbers of potentially dangerous chemicals which were acquired for the manufacture of cough syrups have not been mentioned. The chemicals include propylene glycol, sorbitol solution and sodium methyl paraben. Now the company has failed to validate processes and methods in the manufacture of the syrups in question. A batch of propylene glycol which was analyzed by the company and been declared of standard quality has failed in certain respects is what the show cause notice has to say. No in-process testing reports were provided to investigators of the cough syrups in question. There are discrepancies in the date of manufacturing and product permissions which have been given. Now the Haryana State Drugs Controller has given the company a week to respond to its show cause notice barring which the manufacturing license may be suspended or cancelled and further legal action taken. So that's what the situation is. This is a, a very, very important question because the key issue is this. Are we absolutely certain that some of these cough syrups are not sold in India, perhaps by a different name? That's something that we're going to be looking at very, very closely. Joining us uh, on the program, uh, Chinu Srinivasan, co-convener of the All India Drug Action Network, Joined by Dr. Gopal Dabade, the member of the All India Drug Action Network, DP Kaushik, spokesperson of the Haryana BJP, um, Dr. Manish Mandan, head of Department Pediatrics at Paris Hospitals in Gurgaon, and Dr. Sunila Garg, a member of the Lancet Commission COVID India Task Force, uh, one of India's most experienced scientists uh, in this field. Thanks very much for being with us. Uh, Chinu Srinivasan, let me come to you first. Uh, are we absolutely certain? that none of these four cough syrups which were banned in, uh, in Western Africa, in Gambia, are not sold in India or marketed in India using a different name. Could be what? Can you hear me, Mr. Srinivasan? I'll come to you in a moment from now. I Let can me put hear that you. question to Dr. Gopal Dabade. Mr. Dabade, Dr. Dabade, is there any evidence to suggest that some of these drugs are being used in India? Well, uh, as of now, there is no way of telling. And it is for the regulatory authorities to make it clear as to whether this drug is particularly available or not. What they should do is they have to go and identify the vendor who has supplied the, uh, the, the ingredients. And from there, keep a track of all those from the vendor, find out to whom all he has supplied and then take, keep a track of all those uh, people whom he has supplied and find out from each one of them as to whether uh, this uh, uh, toxic substance has been supplied or not. So that is the only way it can be found out and uh, uh, there is no other way that we can find out. And I, I, as of now, I don't know. It's for the regulatory authorities uh, to do it and find it out. Chinu Srinivasan, can you hear me now? Yes. Is there any evidence to suggest that these uh, that some of these cough syrups are available in India under a different name? Well, there is no evidence about uh, yeah, whether they are available in a different name. Uh, but there is a probability that if the uh, manufacturer has been using this and marketing these syrups and using the same solvent, yes, some of these syrups which are being marketed in India by this manufacturer could be very suspect and could be dangerous and harmful. And therefore, do you believe that there needs to be an entire, uh, a full-fledged recall of all cough syrups potentially sold by this company in India? Not only by this company, but all manufacturers making cough syrups using this particular solvent from this particular vendor. Uh, that is very important. Uh, that is the first step they can take and uh, ask for recall of all this syrups made by 
anybody and everybody using this particular batch of the solvent diethylene uh, glycol dr um, manan what is diethylene glycol because uh, in order for us to continue with this discussion it is important to explain to our viewers why it's dangerous because this is what was found in the drugs in gambia yeah so you know this is something which is used as an antifreeze agent or sometimes in the break uh, fluid and all this is not something which should be used by the pharma in, uh, industry it's a very highly poisonous substance if it gets into the body of a human being it can you know cause significant adverse effects primarily the renal you know it it causes effects in three ways in first stage it will cause severe metabolic acidosis second stage it will cause kidney failure and if the patient is not resuscitated long term effects it can cause neuroparalysis and neurological adverse effects also it's a very dangerous drug the exact dose of diethylene glycol we don't know in pediatrics but in adults they say it's about 1 ml per kg so highly dangerous probably because it is sweet you know that's one of the reasons they may have used it to change the taste of the cough syrup but very dangerous supposed to be used only for industrial purposes you would have seen it in antifreeze agents or break fluids okay uh, in fact let's bring up a graphic uh where we are talking about what is diethylene glycol so just for the benefit of our of our viewers uh if we can just bring up that graphic so that we can explain what this is all about well the key issue is that diethylene glycol is uh, according to a new book the truth pill which has just come out it's a powerful industrial solvent used to make brake fluid it's never been used in the manufacture of medicine if it has then that's wrong it can be fatal if consumed by humans it causes kidneys to fail that can eventually lead to death children tend to suffer more in cases of deg or diethylene glycol poisoning um dr sunila garg uh, what about regulation in our country Yes, there's a show cause notice that's taken place, but this begs the question: If so many discrepancies have now been found, what were government regulators doing earlier? It is definitely a very important question. But before I like to say that it is the propylene glycol which is used, and this is used as a contaminant actually because propylene glycol is very expensive. That's how you know when we you talked about the issue of diethylene glycol or ethylene glycol, which is you know basically. Uh, neurotoxic, which is also renal toxic, and it begins symptoms begin with the uh, abdominal pain and all. That's where you know uh, the manufacturers use these cheap, uh, you know, uh, substances which are contaminated with these glycol agents, which can lead to toxicity. Now, coming to the validation of number one thing is it is very important that all these cup syrups have been under scanner for a long period of time. Earlier, with con uh, you know, in context of codeine and all that. which are narcotic substances so the role of you know it is not only cdc seo which has to come but it is the pharma companies which have to first of all you know declare all their products but uh, the we cannot you know say that our state drug controller organizations can you know just take a easy way out we have to screen every product and especially when we are dealing with you know the items which are manufactured the sample 10 in fact in the protocol 10% of these samples have got to be tested for all the products and all products have to be declared in black and white you know what the substance is containing and particularly when we are dealing with cough syrups as i told you earlier they are containing opiates they are containing codeine like substances now this is you know propylene glycol so and also you know we cannot say that we have to do a sample check of all the drugs and we need to take this matter very seriously with the not only with cdsco cdsco basically is going to deal with the you know blood products vaccines and all the genetic products and all that but it cannot escape its role but immediate role is of the uh, you know state drug control organization which along with the pharma company you know uh, has to take a okay. very important step as to how many you know whichever pharma companies are making whatever drugs they are making they have to undergo a quality check because when i was looking up to the drugs part i realized that you know many times i used to get that this sample is not uh, you know according to the quality so all batch of this you know whether it is syrup or it is the tablets they need to be removed out of market and particularly with regard to vaccines also we were quite very particular so that is where the role comes right from the you know ma'am it's interesting that you you should say this because you know top official sources from the health ministry commenting on this issue today and it's sad that they aren't on record actually saying this said if four samples failed and they were talking about uh, the gambia situation how can the entire batch be blamed 
I, this is a this is a dangerous explanation. If four samples fail, of course you will you withdraw the entire batch because there is no system to take te te to test every vial of medication. If if a batch is found to be defective, four samples ob obviously you withdraw the entire batch. Yes, is is it right for the government important. to say four samples failed? How can the entire batch be blamed? No, four, uh, four of these drugs, they need to be particularly removed, but at the same time, we need to check other drugs also, because sure. you see, we, exactly. yeah, definitely we need to see for the contents and all that, because this is an eye opener. India is a big country, we are very diverse, and we need to, uh, you know, kind no, of... But again, Dr. Gal, just, just sorry to interrupt you, but you know, in as much as you say that it's an eye opener, and of course it is, because people don't care about this, let me bring up a graphic on major drug poisoning events in India, to make the point that this shouldn't be an eye opener. We should all be aware of what the situation is. So let's get that graphic up. And it goes back to five major drug poisoning events in India. Number one, way back in 1972, Madras, 15 children died after consuming a cough syrup. It was adulterated with diethylene glycol. 1986, 14 patients died after consuming adulterated glycerine. It had been ad adulterated with what? Diethylene glycol. 1988, Bihar, 11 patients killed because of diethylene glycol poisoning. 1998, Gurgaon, 33 children aged 2 months to 6 years, absolutely young children, babies and very young kids, killed. The cough syrup was found adulterated with diethylene glycol. 2019, Jammu, 9 children died due to adulterated cough syrup. I don't know what, what the, the chemical which was... And now this has taken place, this is 66 in Gambia. So ma'am, my, my, my humble submission is that all of us should be talking about this and this shouldn't catch us by surprise. Absolutely. And this is very important point, you know, because these are used, the cough syrups are made sweetened so that children can take. So that, you know, it is very important to see what is the sweetener which is used, which you mentioned in between, you know, the glycerin was used and all that. But then these are, you know, adulterated common you know the the quality of these you know diluents needs to be monitored very carefully and also so that's why commonly it is the diethylene glycol or the ethylene glycol which becomes you know a kind of a contaminant because mm -hmm. the, uh, the propylene glycol becomes very expensive for the country so that's where you know and the country shy uh, the, so for the companies they shy away from men mentioning all the components but we need to take this situation very, very seriously. Sure. And, you know, randomly the samples should be checked for the other syrups also which are available so as to make sure that they are not available under different names. And though, you know, we always say that it is the, you know, responsibility of the country which is importing to check for the quality. But it is also very important when, when India is the world pharmacy, we need to see that our systems are in order with proper quality checks. And, you know, all the, you know, complete, clear, transparent, you know, uh, sure. uh, 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 you know, mention is there of all sure. the In fact, ma'am, absolutely. I, I just want to go quickly across uh, to D.P. Kaushik, spokesperson of the Haryana BJP. Thanks, uh, Mr. Kaushik, for being with us. What was going on with this company, Made in Pharmaceuticals? Uh, that 12 uh, points are there in your show cause notice. We did, of course, reach out to them again to be part of this program. No response. But... Uh, sir, wh 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 was were you not monitoring this company earlier on? देखिए सर जैसे ही आज पता चला हमारे इंस्पेक्टर वहाँ से उसकी तरफ से उनको सोकस नोटिस इशू कर दिया था कंपनी को ताकि बहुत खतरनाक बात थी कि कोई भी चीजें वहाँ पे मेंशन नहीं है तो गवर्नमेंट का पहले ही रूल बना हुआ है कि सारी चीजें एवरीथिंग चाहे डेट हो चाहे मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हो चाहे � कोई भी कंपनी कंपनीज़ में सब कुछ डिस्कलेज़ करना होता है, लेकिन कंपनी की लापरवाही है, कंपनी को उसका मेडिकल जो लाइसेंस वो भी उसका मुझे लगता है रद्द कर दिया गया, नहीं क्या होगा तो मॉर्निंग तक उसको रद्द कर दिया जाएगा, तो ये सब तो चीजें गलत हैं, कंपनी को इस पे भारी एक्शन सरकार की तरफ is pe a decision liya gaya hai kya abhi bhi show cause notice ka process jari rahe ga show cause notice to already de diya gaya hai is the action do abhi kya abhi reply kya dete hai uske baad agar proper company ko thik nila government ko to license bilkul rad kar diya hai aur koshik sahab filhal 
जो टेस्ट्स किए गए हैं मतलब जो भी दवाइए दवाइयां बनाए जा रहे थे उनमें जो केमिकल्स है उसका रिजल्ट उसका नतीजा अभी तक आया नहीं है करेक्ट तो इसलिए सर नोटिस देने के बाद अभी कंपनी की तरफ से क्या आता है क्या उनकी रिपोर्ट्स आती है क्या वो लोग रिप्लाई करते हैं उसके बाद गवर्नमेंट देखिए इस तरह कोई भी कंपनी हो चाहे कोई किसी तरह का व्यापार हो तो लोग बिल्कुल बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे जीरो टॉलरेंस पे सरकार काम कर रही है और ये तो बहुत ही गलत जिस तरह की जो काम कर रहे थे कि कोई डेट टेंशन नहीं है कभी कंपोजिशन टेंशन नहीं है तो ये सब चीजें बर्दाश्त नहीं करेगी हरियाणा सरकार ओके डॉक्टर मनन अगेन एंड आई आई रास दिस क्वेश्चन अ फ्यू डेज बैक डिस्कसिंग द सेम इशू वॉट डू यू टेल अ पेरेंट यू नो लुकिंग टू ट्राई एंड हेल्प द चाइल्ड हु एज अ कॉफ डू यू गिव अ कॉफ सिर्फ अर नॉट सच एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यू वॉज आई एम हैप्पी यू वॉज दिस क्वेश्चन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आंसर लाइक इफ इट्स अ सीजनल कॉफ इट्स अंडर द वेदर कॉफ माई आंसर इज योर चाइल्ड डज नॉट नीड एनी मेडिसिन सिंपल आंसर डू जस्ट होम रेमेडीज a little bit of honey a ginger tea steam inhalation saline gargles that's more than enough to take care of a normal viral cough or a seasonal cough you know if it's not getting sorted out with that then you need to see the doctor you know then it's not a common cold or a viral cough you and i want to tell you something very interesting i was going through a publication in indian pediatrics in 2009 yes. they have taken uh, uh, about 17 studies from cochrane 625 uh, um, uh, studies to see whether cough syrups are actually helpful or not the resultant of that was cough syrups are nothing more than a placebo right cough cough is just a symptom of a disease which is there inside your body maybe from the lungs maybe from the throat maybe from your heart maybe from the gastrointestinal system we need to treat the cause not the symptoms cough is a defensive mechanism of the body that needn't be treated treat the cause so the answer is i will never ask my patient to take a cough syrup if you ask my patient then kabhi i'll never tell them i'll say just do home remedies if the symptoms are not subsiding come to come to the doctor you are not supposed to buy it from the oh, counter and give it to your child that's a dangerous thing especially in india when we have such such varied combination cough syrups are available in the market and so easily that anybody can buy it and it's it's a dangerous trend i think this has to stop chiru srivasan um you know uh, is it enough for the government at the center to say that look you know gambia should have tested these drugs which they have imported from india when in fact we have got a system of li- licensing drugs for export in other words our uh, drugs controller general of india and, and officers associated with him have actually said that this is cleared for export so is it enough for us to pass the buck and say gambia you should have tested before you uh, you administer this medication Yeah, first of all, it is not very clear how the on what basis the government of India has cleared this particular company for export, especially considering its track record. It is uh, it is it has been blacklisted by several states in India, and also it had some problems in Vietnam. And uh, you are reading from that uh, chart sheet, yes, uh, number eleven. It yes. says that the firm has not performed the quality testing of propylene glycol uh, for. Tyrosine glycol and ethylene glycol. Yeah, propylene glycol is a solvent which is used, and the basic thing is the company has not tested any any good manufacturer as to this is a basic A B C D of uh, in a syrup uh, making a syrup. You have to test for the presence of tyrosine glycol and ethylene. Glycol. They haven't done this basic thing, and uh, if they had done the testing and they they had found the presence of tyrosine glycol and this thing and the other one. and they 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 should have stopped manufacturing and got a better uh, sample a better batch of uh, uh, the solvent propylene glycol the the uh, the, uh, the problem is also that this company probably has not used pharma grade propylene glycol if they had used prop, uh, pharma grade propylene glycol uh, this chances of it being contaminated is far 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 less but still the company has to test it before he actually mix it in the Uh, with with the whatever the uh, active ingredient you have so this basic thing the company hasn't done it has violated it for this alone its license can be cancelled and yeah. not only cancelled uh, the deaths which have been attributed to this syrup uh, whether it happened in india or it happened in jamibia section 27a small a of the drugs and cosmetics act provides for fine up to 10 lakhs and even imprisonment up to uh, for lifetime imprisonment yeah and uh, 
they should have considered this with the considering the track record i don't know how they gave a license the copp for the government of india which means the government of india which means the ctaco has not done its uh, homework on this particular company and so therefore dr dabate where is the accountability in this you know we are discussing all of this but in terms of regulation at the highest level besides making cursory sounds about oh you know we are testing and you know action will be taken this is a system which has evidently failed it's a flop show that the world health organization has to go and tell us the look drugs manufactured in your country have to be withdrawn because many kill children have probably died consuming them what does this actually say about us at a time when we are marketing ourselves as the pharmacy of the world yeah i think it, it, it's it's really a very big major uh, mistake on the part of the regulatory authorities of india we have failed miserably the government of india and the regulatory authorities have failed miserably and uh, this is a failure that I, i'm still I, i'm still wonder struck uh, that they are waiting the company to respond uh, to whatever has happened i mean the whole world is knowing the who has asked and uh, i'm and i chino srinivasan said uh, severe penalty should be have been done and uh, and uh, they should have been imprisoned and we are still waiting for them to get back um, I, i really don't understand i think uh, the, the regulatory mechanism has utterly failed uh, in our country because the bottom line is business and money and more of that only that is a problem dr uh, dr sunila garg you know it, it's tragic that in in our country we pop medicines like they are candy you know you know what the situation with antibiotics is uh, but <laughs> given 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 this reality um, is is this something that's restricted to just cough syrup so do we need to be alert to other drugs potentially being spurious i think that is where we need to be very very vigilant and that's where the state drug controller general of india needs to be very watchful and we have even drug controller at the district level also if i was to say if uh, let's say district gautam buddhagar which has got 3000 pharmacy shops regularly the checks has, has got to be there you know from the uh, district drug controller general also to see that you know what kind of drugs are being sold over the counter whether you know they are sold with a prescription because we are dealing with many variety of drugs whether it is b drugs or it is h1 drugs which are you know uh, the antibiotics and all that so we need to be very very careful we need to be very vigilant another thing which i like to say with regard to cough syrups and all that we should not be distributing them over the counter as has been mentioned by dr manan also that you know for pediatric drugs and formulations we have to be extremely very careful but one message has to go from this platform to the public that please do consult a healthcare provider basically if there is anything which needs to do not take drugs by yourself but we need to be very vigilant with regard to the quality of drugs that is very important especially when india you yourself mentioned that we are a world pharmacy you know that we are a world pharmacy so quality becomes of utmost importance and time to time you know checking is important whether this company was supposed to manufacture these four uh, these four cough syrups were supposed to be manufactured or not they are also under concern so the companies pharmaceutical companies supposed to manufacture those which it has declared for which the permission has been obtained and for which you know the quality checks are required and everything needs to be displayed in black and white that what is it containing that i think a lot more needs to be done on looking at the chemical composition of the drugs which have been withdrawn in gambia and comparing it with the chemical composition of some of the drugs including cough syrups marketed by this company in india where the, the names are irrelevant the name of the drug is not irrelevant it's the chemical composition which matters and if the chemical composition is found to be identical then at least we would know uh that uh, you know th that a similar drug was used in india that isn't to suggest that it's wrong or spurious but it certainly would raise important questions um one final question to you, uh, to you uh chinu srinivasan um uh and the question is this as far as this company is concerned in the immediate run what needs to be done should action be restricted to just these cough syrups or do we need to look at everything that they manufacture well what needs to be done is what they have already done is a good, good thing what you are reading from and they, they have been given one weeks notice but i and my hunch is that from the kind of things they have pointed out this country this company had tried to fudge the fudge that cover up the 
the data which they are supposed to have and uh, there are a lot of contradictions which the chart sheet has pointed out so the company should be basically uh, the company and the, the person who has supplied this solvent all of them should be uh, put under the dock whatever the law permits for them to be put under the dock but uh, unfortunately i'm afraid this will not be done uh, in our system because i have i've seen in my 40 years of manufacturing hardly any uh, manufacturer uh, who's who has even done the most grievous this thing and then uh, been arrested or gone to jail and uh, all the because some of the fines are ridiculous pay a thousand rupees and get away with it i am told that Pardon? in some cases the fines are ridiculous they are a joke <laughs> yeah yeah no and also i i think uh, the cocktail committee which went into fdcs had the question some of these uh, medicines which uh, uh, the company is making so i wonder how the drug controller or who is regulatory authority is even gave a license Uh, for this these medicines as cough syrup okay and lastly the pediatrician the gentleman who has said this they are about iap giving uh, declaring all these cough syrups as totally useless i would request the indian academy of pediatrics to pressurize the government to ban these uh, cough syrups at totally from this country <clears throat> i think uh, we we'll, we'll end this program uh, with uh, with the scary thought how many children have actually died in our country consuming spurious cough syrups or other medication Uh, while nobody really knew what the cause of actual death was it's taken this an investigation by the world health organization in western africa and gambia to come out with the truth on a particular batch of 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 medication but what is the situation here are we actually losing lives of children and others because the regulation is so lax that's a larger question we we'll leave it there thank you very much for being with us